In this lecture, we are going to study optimality in the cases of taxes and subsidies. Now we will take two types of tax, income tax and quantity tax and we are going to look into how the budget line shifts because of income tax and quantity tax and how the optimal choice of the consumer changes and which of the tax, income tax or quantity tax is more efficient from a consumer point of view. So first we will take a budget constraint. So this is the initial budget constraint and this is the point of optimality of the consumer. So the initial budget constraint is P1X1 plus P2X2 equal to M. Now uh, first we will consider the case of the quantity tax. Now what is a quantity tax? It's basically a tax which the government imposes on the consumers wherein the consumer has to pay a certain amount for each unit of the good that he purchases. So for example, if the government imposes a quantity tax on good 1, then the consumer has to pay a certain amount, say rupees T, for each unit of good 1 that the consumer consumes. So basically, what the quantity tax does is that it basically increases the price of the good. So in this case, the price of good 1 becomes P1 plus T where P1 is the price the consumer pays to the producer and T is the price that the consumer pays to the government. As a result, the budget line becomes P1 plus T times X1 plus P2 X2 equal to M. And as a result, the budget line swivels inwards. This is because the price of good 1 has essentially increased from P1 to P1 plus T because of the quantity tax. Now, the optimal point that the consumer chooses will be point C dash because at this point the new budget line AB dash because of the quantity tax is tangential to the indifference curve U1. Therefore, C dash is the point of optimality. Now, let's look into the case of the income tax. So, the consumer is uh, facing income tax in such a way that the bundle C dash is affordable. So, income tax is, is in a way that reduces the income from M to M double dash but the bundle C dash is affordable. So this bundle is still affordable. So this bundle is still affordable even though the income has reduced from M to M double dash. Now what we are interested to look is uh, whether the income tax um, is will leave the consumer on a higher indifference curve as compared to the quantity tax. Now, uh, the bundle C dash is affordable by the consumer when there is an income tax clearly because it lies on the dotted budget line. The dotted budget line represents P1 X1 plus P2 X2 equals M double dash. It's a parallel shift inwards. Um, if we look at the original budget line which is AB, then the, uh, the, the dotted budget line DA is a shift parallel inwards. Now, uh, C lies on the dotted budget line so it is affordable when there is income tax but is C the optimal bundle? Clearly the answer is no because though it is affordable but it is not lying on a higher indifference curve. Why? Because as you can clearly see there is a portion of the dotted budget line which lies to the right of the indifference curve U1. As a result there will be bundles that are affordable because they are lying on the dotted budget line. And at the same time, they are lying on a higher indifference curve. So in this case, the point of optimality is the point C double dash, where uh, the blue indifference curve and the budget line, the dotted budget line are tangential to each other. Thus, we see that in case of income tax, uh, the consumer is on a higher indifference curve, the blue indifference curve, which is higher than the indifference curve U1. Therefore, we say that income tax is more efficient as compared to the quantity tax if you look, uh, look at it from the consumer's point of view. Now, uh, we are going to look into the case of cash subsidy and food subsidy. Now, recently there has been a debate whether uh, the poor people should be given food subsidy by the government or they should be given cash subsidy. What we are going to do is we are going to look into an economic analysis uh, to see whether cash subsidy is more efficient from a consumer's point of view or food subsidy is more efficient. So again, we are going to take our initial budget line as AB. Now first let us consider the case of the food subsidy. The food subsidy essentially reduces the price of the food. Why? Because the government is giving food to the poor people at subsidized rates. 
in this diagram we have taken food to be on the x axis and all other goods to be on the y axis now since the price of the food to the consumers decreases as a result the budget line ab will swivel outwards and the new budget line will be ab dash so this will be the new budget line the point of optimality of the consumer will be point c where the new budget line is tangential to the indifference curve therefore with food subsidy point c is the point of optimality now let's look into the cash subsidy now cash subsidy will be given by the government in again such a way that the point c will be affordable so uh, when a cash subsidy is given to the consumer basically it is an increase in the income of the consumer as a result the budget line will shift parallelly outwards from ab to a double dash b double dash as shown in the diagram so with cash subsidy the budget line becomes the dotted budget line which is shown in the diagram now uh, point c lies on this dotted budget line so clearly uh, point c is affordable with cash subsidy as well but is it optimal is it the optimal bundle for the consumer the answer is clearly no why because there is this portion of the budget line that is lying to the right of the indifference curve as a result the consumer will have an option of choosing the bundles in case of cash subsidy which are affordable and which lies on a higher indifference curve so the point of optimality is going to be a point uh, that is tangential where uh, the red indifference curve is tangential to the dotted budget line and this point will lie on a higher indifference curve as compared to the old indifference curve through which point c passes thus we see uh, through our economic analysis that cash subsidy will be uh, leaving the consumer um, at a higher indifference curve and as a result cash subsidy is more efficient as compared to the food subsidy however uh, there are various factors that need to be taken into consideration when we are um, talking um, over cash subsidy or food subsidy debate uh, about which we are not going to uh, talk in this lecture but essentially the economic analysis says that cash subsidy is better than the food subsidy however um, the analysis that we just did of cash subsidy versus food subsidy was based on it based on an assumption that the consumer uh, that the consumer gets the food at subsidized rates whatever be the quantity of the good that the consumer consumes so for all units of the good all units of the food that the consumer consumes the government is providing the food at subsidized rates but this is essentially not the case in india in india in public distribution systems the government provides 35 kgs of grains uh, more or less to the consumers to the bpl and the apl families at subsidized rates grain can be either rice or wheat and um, if a consumer wants to buy more than 35 uh, kgs of grain the consumer has to buy the remaining from the open market so uh, here the point x represents 35 kgs um which is provided at subsidized rates by the uh, government so um we are taking ab to be our initial budget line now since for the first 35 kgs the price of the food has decreased because uh, of subsidization by the government therefore the budget line for this portion for uh, the portion ox will be ac as shown in the diagram and after point x uh, since the consumer is buying additional amount of grains from the open market therefore the slope of the budget line becomes the same as the slope of the budget line um, when we are taking ab to be our budget line therefore after 35 kgs of grains the budget line becomes cd as a result we have a kinked budget line so our new budget line is acd now um as you can clearly see there is a shift there is an increase in this portion that is obviously with food subsidy uh, given by the government uh, the uh, the consumer will be able to buy more units of food uh, because the consumer is saving a certain proportion of his budget because of the subsidization of the first 35 kgs of grain now uh, we will look into the uh, cash subsidy case now uh, we will look into two cases now the first case is where the consumer is consuming less than 35 kgs so if a consumer is consuming less than 35 kgs of food say the consumer is consuming somewhere around 20 kgs 
now this is the point of see this is the point of optimality see this is the point of optimality of the consumer now uh, when the cash subsidy is been given to such a consumer clearly there will be a portion of the budget line this one which is lying above this indifference curve and which will also be affordable so the consumer can easily choose bundles over here which will be affordable with cash subsidy and which will leave the consumer on a higher indifference curve therefore cash subsidy is beneficial um, than food subsidy when the consumer is consuming less than 35 kgs of grain now let us look at case 2 if you look at case 2 if the consumer is just consuming 35 kgs of grain then again if the indifference curves are as shown in the diagram we will see that there is a portion of the budget line with cash subsidy which lies to the right of the indifference curve and as a result the cash subsidy will be better than the food subsidy because the consumer can choose any bundle here which will be affordable with cash subsidy and which will leave the consumer on a higher indifference curve as compared to this old indifference curve therefore cash subsidy is greater than food subsidy in this case as well however if we had an indifference curve like this then clearly um, whether it was a cash subsidy or whether it was a food subsidy point c will be the point of optimality because there is no portion of the dotted budget line the budget line with cash subsidy that lies to the right of this indifference curve and as a result the point of optimality remains the same whether it is a cash subsidy or a food subsidy same is the case when we take um, a point where the consumer is consuming more than 35 kgs of grain so let us take this point so if we have indifference curves like this and consumer is choosing this point now uh, if a cash subsidy is given instead then the budget line is this dotted portion and then this solid portion and we see that no portion of the budget line uh, lies to the right of this indifference curve all the bundles that lies um, within the budget constraint with cash subsidy uh, lies to the left of the indifference curve and as a result this is the point that remains the point of optimality and hence the point of optimality remains the same uh, with cash subsidy as well as food subsidy in this case therefore uh, the superiority of the cash subsidy is not guaranteed if we take the present situation of the public distribution system in india because the government is not subsidizing all the units of food that a consumer buys but the consumer is uh, but the consumer gets subsidies only for a certain amount of uh, good food that the consumer consumes like for example in this case 35 kgs the initial 35 kgs of grains thus uh, there is a lot a lot on the debate between the cash subsidy and the food subsidy this is just an economic analysis of the situation however there are various factors um, when it comes to the real life situations uh, which uh, really decide the effectiveness or the ineffectiveness of cash subsidy or food subsidy